Welcome to The Recon Trader. In today's video, I will show you how to configure and deploy an automated crypto trading bot on the Crypto Hopper platform and my strategy will be designed around the MACD indicator. Now, before we get too far into the weeds, if you're not familiar with Crypto Hopper, they are actually one of the original automated crypto trading bot platforms that I found back in late 2017, 2018, and I've been using them ever since. In addition to, I've been in direct contact with the team. I've been on video conference calls. They are a legitimate team. Now, if you're wondering what kind of investment is required to get started, we'll jump over to the pricing real quick. And you can actually get started for free. The Pioneer package will allow you to get started for free. However, it will not offer the automated trading bot that I'll be deploying today. So for that, you would actually need the Explorer package. And you can actually get started for free by following my link down in the description below. Just click on that link and sign up and you'll get the Explorer package for free and you can give it a trial run. This will actually be the package I deploy the bot on today. So that's enough jaw jacking. Let's get to configuring this bot and get it deployed. Now, once you've signed up and log into your new account, you will want to deploy your first bot. And in order to do that, you can click on new or config wizard. Under the config wizard, there's some templates that you can use, but today we're gonna go from scratch and click on new. And I wanna deploy an auto trading bot. So I click on auto trading bot. And from here, they'll still offer you some of the templates to use, but I'm gonna click on configure yourself. That will take you to the configuration dashboard. And the very first tab to work on is your basic settings. And that is very basic. You're just gonna name your strategy. And in this case, I named it X MACD. And I will turn the bot on live after all configuration is done. It's very important that you tick this on live. Otherwise, even with the hopper activated, your bot will not actually execute any trades. And I will admit, occasionally I forget to turn this on live. Now, next, we want to set up our exchange. And under this tab, if you wanted to deploy this bot as a paper trading bot instead of a live bot, and you can just click on paper trading, and that will allow you to trade without actually connecting an exchange. But for today's video, I will be deploying this bot on Qcoin. And I have already copied and pasted in my Qcoin key and secret key and passphrase. Now, if you're going to use Qcoin like I am, you just go to your Qcoin account and under your user tab, you would go to API management and that would take you to this screen and you can create your own API keys from there. And then the last item to complete is use ticker rate and I use highest bid, lowest ask. Next is notifications. I personally just get notifications based on trades. So under the buying tab, we go to buy settings. And in this case, I'm going to do market orders. I want my order filled immediately and I don't want to mess around with a limit order, higher or lower. I'm looking for my strategy to give me a signal. And when it does, I want to pull the trigger immediately. Maximum open buy time, three minutes. Now I'm going to be trading ETH and on Qcoin, that's going to get executed immediately anyway. So three minutes is more than enough time. Maximum open positions, I have selected three. And then maximum percent open position per coin I have set at 70 which gives me three maximum open positions now in reality with this strategy I don't actually anticipate more than one open position at a time since I'm only going to have one coin on this strategy and that's going to be ETH and you might be wondering why only one coin that's the coin that I have so far done all my recon on including back testing and it performs extremely well under this strategy and then enable cooldown, I don't have active. I do have only open one buy order per coin. When the signal's sent, I only want one buy order sent. Only buy when there are positive pairs, that's not going to apply. And auto merge positions, I don't have active. Next tab we're looking at is coins and amounts. And the first item you're gonna to need to select is your quote currency. Now Crypto Hopper calls it your base. But in this case, my quote currency is going to be USDT. And then the coins allowed, you can select from the list of available coins. You'll see Qcoin has a ton of coins you can choose from. You could add synthetics over to your selected coins. 
Uh, as you can see, I already have ETH as my selected coins. Now, I'm not going to actually use SNX. I'm going to pop that back over by clicking on it to the available coins. And so the only coin I'm going to be using is one coin. If you've seen my RSI 470 strategy that I set up on Crypto Hopper, I have two coins. That's it. And it's been extremely profitable. And if you missed that video, for starters, you should shoot that subscribe button so you don't miss future videos. But you can find that video in my Crypto Hopper playlist and go back and see that configuration on how I set that up. And so moving along, my one coin is going to be ETH. Uh, percentage buy amount I had set at 25%, which would be 25% of my maximum USDT amount allocated. I'm going to give this bot $400 in ammo. And then a minimum amount per order, I'm also going to set at $100. I have it ticked off to force the minimum buy amount, which is in line with what I actually wanted it to do as a percentage buy amount. So jumping over to the next tab, the strategy itself. And then the strategy will be the Crypto Hoppers multi TA factors. And I will not be using signals. And number of targets to buy is going to be one because in reality, there's just ETH. And then advanced settings to configure my multiple TA factors. Click on that. Candle size I'll be using will be one hour. And then I have disabled everything except for the MACD strategy. Now I deployed the exact same strategy over on Quadency which is another trading platform that I use. And I deployed that bot yesterday. So if you want to find that video, just go back in my playlist and you'll see that video. And you might ask why I have the same strategy deployed on multiple platforms. Well, I'm looking to do a comparison to see how they perform. So you might want to stay tuned for those update videos I'll be posting in the near future. So moving along, my MACD settings, I have my fast period of 24, the slow period of 52 and the signal period of 12. Now the defaults are 12, 26 and 9, but I've done a ton of back testing and I've had a lot of success with these actual settings. And then I have the MACD necessary for a buy signal. And that is a very simple, straightforward strategy, but extremely effective. Now trailing stop buy, I do not have enabled. I've done back testing. It does not work well on this strategy. The sell settings, I have take profit at 40. I'm actually going to be taking most of my profit and stop losses on a different setting. But if we hit that 40 level, I will take profit. I have a couple other bots on Crypto Hopper that do occasionally hit that number. And I'm happy taking profit at 40%. Uh, market order and maximum open time to sell three minutes. Again, with ETH on Qcoin, it will sell immediately. Now on sell settings, I have this activated to sell based on strategy because with the MACD strategy, you're actually buying based on the MACD line crossing the signal line. And we'll jump over here to trading view so you can actually see what that would look like. And so what you would be looking at is the blue line is the MACD line and the red line is your signal line. So down here in the lower left hand corner, you can see the blue line crossing above the signal line which is the red line and so you're getting an entry right around in this area the blue line and the red line the macd and the signal line follow the price action up and when that price action starts to roll over up here you will see your macd line crossing through your signal line and this would be your sell and this is exactly how i want the bot to perform i want it to buy down here and sell up here in theory and that is why I have my sell based on strategy enabled. Now the next tab is stop loss. And I have that enabled. Deploying a bot without a stop loss is a lot like going into battle without armor. This will help protect you from getting killed. And so I have my stop loss set at three. Next will be the trailing stop loss. Now this is really where I'm looking to take profit if the MACD indicator doesn't trigger a sell before certain parameters. And in this case, I have it enabled. I'm looking for it to arm once we hit 13% profit. So if this bot hits 13% profit, I want the bot to be armed and ready to sell. Now, if the price continues up, that's great. It will follow the price up. The moment that price action falls 4%, it will trigger a sell and exit the position and thus locking in some profit. 
Now, as far as the option to use trailing stop loss only, I'm actually going to disable that. I've done back testing and it actually performs better with this disabled because again, I'm looking for that MACD to roll over and trigger cells as well. So I want both of those options available to the bot. And then the last three options, the auto close, shorting settings, and dollar cost averaging, I'm not going to deploy on this bot. They don't apply. And so I'm ready to click save. And the configuration has been saved. So now we're ready to go and actually back test this configuration. So we do that over here on the left hand side on the menu. We just click on back testing. And you can see the currency is going to be ETH. That's the only currency I actually have available for the bot to run with. And I'm going to click on load existing configuration. So it will run off of my existing configuration along with my stop loss and take profit configuration. And so we just click start back test. It will begin the back test. And it's going to run a back test for about four months from September through January. And you can see on this started around September 27th, runs through October, and ends over here around January 28th, 29th. And the results are pretty good. Max profit, 54%. Now, when I deployed the bot yesterday on the other platform, its results were very similar. They are around 40%. And the difference maker might be on the platforms. The other platform didn't allow me to set stop losses or trailing stop losses. I was stuck with just using the MACD to buy and exit the position. So having these extra options on Crypto Hopper may result in increased profits. Keep in mind, backtesting does not guarantee future results. It just gives you an idea if you have a valid battle plan or not. And you can see the successful trades were 34 or 66% and the sales with losses were 17% with 33%. Now this is over a four month period and you're looking at around 51 trades. So it's not a whole lot of trades a month. So there's not going to be a whole lot of action on this bot, but I'm not looking for action. I'm looking to minimize my risk and be rewarded with profit. And that is exactly what it looks like I will achieve with this particular bot. So now I need to jump back over to my config tab, base config. I need to turn that bot on live. So I don't forget to do that. Go to the basic settings tab, live bot, enable it. And you do actually have to save that. And the configuration has been saved. I can jump to my dashboard now over here on the menu. And the last thing I need to do is enable the hopper and enable buying. And this bot is live and ready to go. It will start searching for targets. And once it has seen some action, I will do an update video. So again, now would be a good time to shoot that subscribe button. If you like this video, do me a favor, spike that like. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave those in the comment section down below. I will leave a link to Crypto Hopper in the description. And with that all being said, remember, never send your money into battle without first doing your recon. I'll see you in the next video.